Hi, welcome back. Today I have a new bag to show you. But before that, I'd like to discuss that in recent years, luxury brands have increased their price on the bags and all luxury goods in a crazy level. But personally, if I want to spend five to ten thousand dollar, I would rather go travel around the world. Because to me, real luxury is experience life and you can grow from all those experiences. Then when we talk about leather bags, maybe some of you may not be aware, leather material is not the most expensive material. A lot of it really comes down to the branding. So sometimes I do think that everyone should be able to afford a good leather bag. Because of that, I have been researching and always look for affordable options that give us the best value. And with that in mind, S. John has reached out to me to do a sponsor video. S. John is a bag company that have their own website and also sell on Amazon. The funny thing is, I did add their bags to my Amazon shopping list multiple times and I thought that maybe at some point I want to try those bags to see that if the leather is really good that I can introduce and recommend to you guys. So now since they approached me, I feel like this is my good opportunity to try out the bag so that I know if they are good that if I want to buy more from them in the future. Like I mentioned before, they sell on Amazon and they also have their own website. The thing with Amazon is, we see so many other results that blend in, sometimes it's hard for me to find the right bag that I want. So I found that it's easier if you go on their website, you can see clearer all the categories, all the stuff of bag that you can find, so that without spending too much time, you can find the bag that you like. And here's the bag that I want to share with you today. This is their Women Vintage Genuine Leather Tote Bag. I know you heard the term Genuine Leather, you probably think that why would I recommend a Genuine Leather Bag, but it's not that kind of Genuine Leather. This one is made with top grain leather. I think the reason they use the term Genuine Leather on their website and on their Amazon listing, because many people out there that don't buy bags every day, they don't really understand what kind of leather if the bag even made with real leather. So to accommodate bigger group of customers, they do have to put the term genuine leather so that people can understand that their bags are not made with fake leather or some other crazy materials. I want to find bags that give us great values. And this bag is pretty affordable. You can check out their website or on Amazon to see their pricing. I think one of the reasons they can give us all the great pricings because they do collaborate with their factory and manufacturer in China to produce the bag. After seeing this bag, I can say that I'm pretty impressed with the leather quality. Looking at this bag, I would say the leather quality is pretty similar with other leather companies. So this bag is made with crazy horse leather. I'm not the expert in leather tanning process, but I believe this leather started as a full grain leather mixed with the wax in their curing and tanning process, and then they buff down the top surface to give you this beautiful vintage look. That's why I was told this is a top grain leather because they did buff up the imperfection. For that reason, you do see pull-ups on this bag. Like if you bend it, you press it, you roll the bag around, you will see some color variation show up on the bag. Since they sent me this bag for a review, I did receive this bag in a plastic envelope with good packaging so that even if it rains, you don't have to worry about it. From my communication with them, they told me if you purchase from them, your bag will be shipped in a box. But just in case, I want to mention that if your bag being shipped in a plastic envelope, don't worry, your bag will be fine, just like this one. I think sometimes companies do that to reduce their shipping costs because as you all know, shipping fees has been crazy as well. Before I go further into talking about this bag, if you like the look of this bag, this is their Women Vintage Genuine Leather Tote Bag. So I would say this is a quite a good size tote bag. You can definitely fit a lot in this bag. I know on their website, they have measurements for you, but I thought I would measure it here so that we can get a more accurate measurement. So the top of the bag is around 16 inches. And the bottom of the bag is about 14 inches. Let's measure the side. The depth of this bag is slightly more than 4 inches. So the drop for this shoulder strap is about 12 inches. I do like this long shoulder strap because it's easier to put on your shoulder. Like your bag don't get stuck with your elbow, you can just easily put it on your shoulder. So when you're looking at this shoulder strap, it's bag with this webbing material. I think this is the first time I have a bag that has this kind of design. I want to show you without adjusting my camera. And with this webbing, it's amazing because you can see how I swing around the bag and 
is not falling off my shoulder. It seems to stay better on my shoulder compared to just regular leather material. When I purchase a new bag, the first thing I look at is their stitches. So looking through this bag, I have to say all their stitches are perfect. I don't see wonky stitches, so that's a good sign. Because if they don't have good quality, that's usually the first thing you notice. So I would say in general, their craftsmanship is pretty good even though the bag is made in China. As you can see here, the rivets are all central perfectly. I know you may think this is normal, but some company cannot get the rivets center perfectly. And I'm OCD about it since I'm a graphic designer also. Looking at this bag, it's full of features. And I just love that this bag comes with so many pockets. Because a lot of time, when I buy more expensive bags, they just come as a tote bag and you don't get many pockets to organize your stuff. This one, you get two side pockets. You can probably put a small water bottle or your umbrella if it's rainy day. And then on the front, you get a zip pocket. It's very smooth. I would say it's big enough to store your phone inside. And if you think that's all you get, no, you have another pocket behind it. And this pocket has a magnetic closure. So if you don't use the pocket, it stays in place, kind of like hidden. But when you need it, it's a bigger pocket, bigger than the zip pocket up front. And that's not all, because if you turn around, you get another pocket at the back. And you can see how smooth the zipper. Let's see how big this pocket is. It's pretty similar to the front pocket. It's not all the way go down, but it's good size pocket. My whole hand can go inside the pocket. And what amazed me is inside the pocket, I found this thing inside. This is a durable webbing material that they added to this bag. It's hidden inside the pocket, but when you need it, when you travel, you can pull it out, hook on your luggage handle. I think this is genius. I don't know why other bag companies don't do that. It is such a great feature for people who want to use their bag for travel. So this bag comes with a zip closure. So if you want to use this bag on the airplane, you can just store it under the seat and your things won't fall out of this bag. Let's try again. Extremely smooth. I'm so impressed. And you do get a crossbody strap. If you have been watching my video, you know how much I love a crossbody strap. Because sometimes when I want to free my hands, I would prefer the bag has a crossbody feature so that I don't have to hand carry the bag. From right, I can see this is a heavy duty hardware. So this will be durable and not going to break easily. And this crossbody strap also has this webbing cotton material so that it can stay on your shoulder better. And when you want to use a crossbody feature, you have D-rings on both sides so that you can just hook on the crossbody strap and use this as a crossbody bag. So this is how it looks inside the bag. On the back side, you get a padded laptop compartment. It's, it's quite a big space. I believe on the website, they say you can carry a 15-inch laptop. And then on the front panels, you do get another zip pocket. Looks like I'm able to pull out the lining to show you. So you can see that the fabric has their S. John logo branding on it. And then you do get two big slip pockets. I believe this is for your pen. It's a good size pen slot. And then these slip pockets are protected with leather edging. I like that you can pull out the material because if you accidentally spill something inside your bag, it's easier to clean before it gets to your leather. Now I'm going to show you what's fit in this bag. I don't have a lot of stuff here, but I have my Sony headphone. And then I have my Kindle scrap. I've been enjoying reading on this Kindle. And then I will put my giant 12.9 iPad Pro in the laptop slot. Still quite a lot of space. I probably can add another pouch, maybe a small water bottle. And I love the big size pocket on the front. If you like me really into journaling lately, you can keep your journal here. It fit right in. I love that this bag has so many pockets. I think they really put in a lot of effort to create bags that's full of features and so functional and so versatile. So my height is 5'9 and the drop for the shoulder strap is 12 inch. 
So this is how it looks on me. So if you have a similar height, that's how it looks. It's a comfortable length for the shoulder strap. You can easily reach in and get your stuff. I'm glad I picked this bag because I do like how it looks. Now I have attached the crossbody strap. It's an adjustable crossbody strap and because of the design, it doesn't have a leftover strap hanging around. So you can adjust to any, any length you want. It's really easy to adjust. I don't know about you, but personally, I like to carry my bag higher and closer to my body because I do find that it feels lighter that way. I think this is a good size bag that it can be everyday and it can also use for travel. I always love a bag with crossbody feature so that I can go shopping and not have to worry about carrying my bag. This strap is quite long, so if you need a really long strap, I know sometimes people worry about shorter strap that doesn't fit their body frame. So with this longer strap, you have a lot of options. I'm 5'9 again, and you have more to go. If you like carry your bag really low, you can do it with this bag as well. So since this is a leather bag, sometimes people worry about what happens if your bag is wet or if you have a stain on your bag. So I would say for the care tips, if your bag is stained, try to wipe it with damp cloth immediately as soon as possible because the longer it stays on your leather, the harder to get it out. If your bag ever get wet, just use a dry cloth to absorb the moisture and make sure you put it somewhere with good airflow to dry it out naturally. And definitely don't put it away before it is fully dry. If you really need to clean your bag, don't use a chemical based cleaner because it will damage the structure of this leather. You can use a soft cloth with warm water and maybe a little bit of mild hand soap to clean it and then wipe it clean and let it dry naturally. Since this is very similar to full grain leather and it's not heavily treated and coated with plastic, so you do get scuff marks and scratches time to time. So to take care of things like that, you do want to condition your bag periodically or when you touch the bag, if the bag feels kind of dry, you do want to condition it so it's well protected so that the bag will likely to last a lifetime. Before I forget, this bag does come with a dust bag with a handle as well. So you can put it away and you can carry with this handle. I definitely haven't seen many bags in this price point come with a dust bag. So this is really nice of them. And if you know me, I love to buy bags and I love to buy a lot of bags. So after looking through their website, I do find a few bags that I want to buy. I'm going to share them with you and maybe you can tell me which one you would like to see me review on this channel. So the first one I want to mention is their Vintage Genuine Leather Backpack. Again, I believe they use either full grain or top grain leather, not split leather like what you think. I really like this backpack because it has a classic look. I feel like with this kind of good leather, the bag will age really well and the leather is going to drape beautifully when you carry it. And the next bag I want to mention is their Genuine Leather Laptop Tote Bag. The reason I want this bag is because I saw that on their website, they have a blue color one. I really don't see this color often. I like that kind of deep blue color. I know it is very similar to this tote that I already have, but I love blue, I love green, so I feel like I may get that one as well. And then the next one I want to show you is this medium leather tote bag with big front pocket. It's a vertical north-south tote. I'm glad to see that they don't only just make east-west tote because personally, I love a good north-south tote. And again, this one, they have a color called dark green. I cannot resist when I see a green bag. So looking at this leather with that beautiful pull-up, I think I may get that one as well. But too bad it doesn't come with crossbody feature. Otherwise, I would buy it immediately. <laughs> 
And then lastly, I want to mention this mini genuine leather crossbody purse. It's kind of like a crossbody camera bag. The size is very similar to other camera bag you have seen. The difference is, I like that you can unzip the front compartment, open it up like a lunchbox that's easy to access your bag and organize your stuff inside this small bag. Also, it seems that on the front, it has a good size zip pocket as well. So these are the few bags that I saw and considering buying. So what do you think? Which one do you think I would like it the most? And if you think that's all for today, not really. This time, I have talked to them and they agreed to give me a 15% off code. So if you use my discount code, it's CHI, C-H-E-E, -E, 15, you can get 15% off buying from their website, including the sales item. And if you think that's still not good enough, if you use my code, you get a free gift. This is their leather conditioner. You get a leather conditioner with your purchase if you use my discount code. It comes with a sponge so that you can condition and get the scarf mark out. So I hope you like today's video. I do try to get the best deal not just for me, also for you all. Hopefully this video helps and you can go check out their bags. I don't know how long this discount code is going to last or this free gift option is going to last. So I would say if you see something you like, get it soon before things expire. And since I have already packed my bag, now it's time for me to head out to lunch. I hope you liked today's video and let me know if you have seen their bags before. Have you purchased from them before? Let me know your experience. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!